Hi, my name is Bob Martin. I am a staff applications engineer with Atmo Corporation, and I'm here to talk to you about a couple things about our Android solution for the SAM9 microprocessor. I'm going to show you a couple things about our drag and drop solution that makes developing with the SAM9 and Android as easy as it can be. Let me inter first introduce you to our SAM9 M10 G45 EK, which is configured in uh, a custom configuration to uh, explain the features of our Android build. But first, I'd like to take you a tour around the board. Over here, we have the EK underneath, and on top, we have a custom Max Touch implementation with an LCD screen, which is touch enabled. Over in this corner, we have a SDIO enabled Wi Fi card, which plugs into an SD card slot on this side of the board. We have some external media for uh, video and audio files, which I'll be uh, playing back, which are sitting on this card through this external speaker. The other connections are fairly simple. It's just a simple 5 volt power supply coming in and a USB cord powering our external speakers to make the connections a little bit easier. So what we're looking at, obviously, is a standard Android home screen. The Android image itself is based on the Angstrom distribution, which is available from our website. And currently right now, the board is running out of uh, 256K of NAND flash and 128K of SD RAM at a speed of 400 megahertz. I am going to bring up a couple areas of interest now. Most specifically, I wanted to start with the collaboration that Atmel has with Mentor Graphics in their in-home display system, which is part of the Smart Grid initiative. Again, information is available both from the Mentor Graphics website and from the Atmel website. Here we're looking at what would be the typical home screen of an in-house display system. And we're looking at the default uh, display environment that was created in collaboration with Mentor Graphics and their Smart Grid initiative. Here we're seeing basically what looks like a speedometer of your current household power consumption. I'm not going to bring up the appliance menu, so we can go and look at some individual appliance controls by themselves. We have selected up here the washing machine as indicated up in the upper left hand corner in blue, and now I'm going to remotely enable the power to the washing machine and notice on both the washing machine power meter and the overall house power meter the readings have increased indicating power consumption. Through this and through uh, walking down the menus of the other appliances you can in real time monitor your current household consumption and adapt your lifestyle to make the maximum of your power consumption during the day. So now we're going to look at the Q-Touch demo that we include with our Angstrom distribution by selecting this icon here. And what this is, is just a simple two-touch, multi-touch demo. You can see the blue dot following my finger. And now, you can see both the red and blue dot following my finger. And this demonstrates the multi-touch capability that is enabled by our max touch. And this is essentially the same mechanism that allows you to do that pinch and zoom function on your tablets. Next, we're going to bring up the browser to uh, demonstrate the pinch and zoom functionality shown in the uh, Max Touch demo. Now we've loaded the Atmel homepage and we'll demonstrate the pinch and zoom functionality by bringing that web page up closer and then with the obligatory double tap bringing that web page down to its normal re resolution on the screen. And now let's demonstrate some of the audio visual capabilities of this Android port. Let me bring up a music player and select some media from the SD card and select a song. And now let's have a look at some of the video playback capability of our Angstrom Android distribution on the SAM9. Typically, a video playback application in the home uh, display panel environment would actually be relaying uh, video camera information either from your security cameras or other uh, cameras located uh, outside the house rather than playing football video. 